Welcome to this really uh, good game of Zelda Greek Canyons. Now, first of all, this is Zelda Greek Canyons 1 vs 1 Supremacy version. In case any of you don't know what it is, it's basically a map like this starting up. Uh, you don't have any food whatsoever except your only option is to do fishing. Now, on this specific map, you start with 1 to 5 villagers. Um, we happen to start with 4 on this one. So I just joined a random person's match on ESSO. I haven't been on ESSO for a while, but I decided to go on for once. Um, and to see if people are still playing. He went Thor. I, I kept telling him, go random god, but um, it's some Spanish noob. So, Anyways, um, he went Thor. So I went Hades. Hades is my favorite, definitely, on Zelda. But I prefer on on one to five villagers i'd rather prefer random gods but anyways as you can see i start up by gathering some wood and looping fishing ships now let's see how we play differently um i made two docks because i want to spare some wood so that when i'm building my town so i can still keep looping them and as you can see my production of wood is sufficient now blue on the other hand is making a third dock and he, he actually made his uh, docks with two villagers at the same time so he is slightly ahead in fishing ships but um, his wood production is not gonna sustain three docks as you can see he has zero wood and he can't really yeah see he has to keep on looping them and stuff like that so anyways he doesn't have enough wood for a town center um, I personally just got enough food and started building it now so the difference is that he didn't balance it out enough um, for me, the problem was getting food for a town center. For him, the problem was regaining the wood. So as you can see, even though he has more food than me, I still started my town center earlier just because he's made too much, uh, he wasted too much wood, to say the least. And also, he's making his town center with three villagers. One is still chopping wood. So um, I guess he's got the same amount of fishing ships as me sooner or later. He has 12, uh, just got 13. I have about... 15 so I, I slightly more but this is my last amount of wood so he's gonna get even with me uh, I'm assuming now the beginning is not that important I don't know why I'm highlighting it as a matter of fact I'm gonna keep fog of war on my point of view just so we can uh, focus more on you know my gameplay so anyways it seems as if my town center is almost done however I need 400 food to advance so yeah, this is a slight problem. I was just slightly delayed there, but you know, it's kind of hard to get 400 food as soon as your town center is done, in my opinion, since I'm not that professional at this. Uh, many people can do it though, they just have to do this so that your fishing ships get the food at the last second, which is a good tactic. I just didn't want to be that messy. So, as you can see, I was going to make a storehouse right here, and I got to advance quick. Uh, seconds. Okay, I'm advancing choosing uh, Ares. Ares, <laughs> I don't see. Okay, guys. Uh, every time I pronounce something in mythology, you got you, the comments are filled with corrections and stuff like that. Like last game, uh, there was the unit called Skila. Well, I pronounce it Skila, but apparently it's Sila. So I know you guys always correct me. No problem. I'm gonna say Ares. Uh, if it's Ares, well, go ahead, go ahead, come at me, bro. So, anyways, as you can see, I made my storehouse, upgrading some stuff for economy so I can uh, obviously get it back economy now the interesting thing is that I'm not gathering any gold whatsoever yet um, I'm uh, purely focused on food and wood now why is that obviously wood so that I can spam more fishing ships but yeah it's kind of interesting because most would expect me to focus on gold right now but no I actually didn't get any gold whatsoever uh, even though I was trying to go for a fast heroic so I considered food to be a lot more important at this stage and therefore focused on that now however uh, look at this I was upgrading vault of Erebus which actually provides a good income of gold as soon as I advance so um, yeah I think that's pretty good enough it it allows me to get enough gold so I don't need that many villagers on gold mining uh, but I'm assuming it's only like one miner that's how fast it comes so it is pretty slow but very useful uh, so yeah, I'm upgrading that and as well when I can afford it I can get more economy upgrades now obviously I need more gold But I'm gonna I think I'm actually saving up my resources right now just so I can advance um, Still making some fishing ships But sending all of my villagers to gold no more wood choppers So therefore yeah, I'm going all in right now trying to advance to the castle. I mean <laughs> heroic age Sorry, I played Agent Pirates 2 a bit too much um, Anyways, let's look at the map. Sorry <sighs> Gotta breathe myself out <sighs> okay, there. <sighs> I just talked too much. <clears throat> um, 
Anyways, let's look at the map. As you can see, uh, our bases have three town centers. The middle has two town centers. Now, this could be vital. Map control is vital on this map. And that is definitely what I was going for. Advancing to Polo as soon as possible. I'm already going fast heroic. Now, um... The problem with that is that I could not afford to take a fast town center as soon as possible. So I obviously sent some villagers back to wood and hopefully I could afford the town center soon enough. And as you can see, I did not make any more fishing ships. I had enough food for now. And plus, I just needed wood for uh, a town center. Well, obviously wood and gold. Um, yeah, I'm upgrading my wood chopping right here. And making some military stuff just in case he rushes me. He is Norse, so you know Norse. Norse is the best to rush on Zelda. They usually spam buildings right outside your base, um, so they could easily rush you. Easily rush you. However, as we can see here, he took a fast town center. That means he's not going fast heroic. But we are actually doing the exact um, reverse tactics, as you say. I don't know how. I could say it, but reverse tactics. I'm going fast heroic and then taking town centers. He's taking a town center and then going fast heroic. So um, we're kind of reversed. I'm surprised he isn't rushing, but just in case he was, I still decided to throw up a wall here sooner or later. Um, and now I made this guy scout these two areas. Sooner or later, I was smart enough to make it patrol. So it was patrolling between these two town centers just to check if he was taking forward base. Um, it seems like he was not taking it just yet, but this was a very good move to guard these two town centers. Not really guard, but at least keep on lookout. Now, um, I'm grading my mining. As you can see, I'm really low on gold. Um, and I need a lot of gold to make some town centers. Now... I didn't make any military just yet, so if he would have rushed me, that would be quite an interesting game, I say. Uh, I had lots of wood. No, wait. I had lots of food. A decent amount of wood, but not enough gold. So, still focusing a bit on that. Let's just speed things up to get more to the action. Oh, and as we can see, it's a really long game, so I better not stall time here. Um, yeah, I was saving up military production for a lot later, just to get my economy up and upgrades as well. Um, I did not upgrade anything in the army just yet. I was going to go to in mythic age i almost said imperial i was gonna go mythic age so i can upgrade the thing for cheaper improvements in armory now, as you can see he took a third town center a bit sooner than i did uh that's because he used a lot more units to produce it even though i started building mine a bit earlier which i i'm not gonna turn fog of war off but yeah that's how it went so now i'm just spamming spamming up storehouses and looping villagers from all three town centers it seems as if i'm doing an epic boom right here Oh, and he is going forward base right now. I just scouted too late. Um, and in defense, I was going to take this town center. He was just coming in. Uh, what are these? Ulf Sarx, Throwing Axemen, and Hearses. I made counteracts against him. Hippasis, who is going to win? Oh, he comes in with another army. And just uh, blocks my town center. I don't know how to say it. He just stops my town center from being constructed. And he takes the forward base on both sides. So this is a very bad situation for me. But what I decided to do is spam up a massive army fully upgraded. That's my plan at least. And then I can move out, push him back, and hopefully regain the middle. However, this is very difficult. Uh, at this point of the game, we don't know if I can do it or not. But that's my plan since I'm Hades. And of course, I can get Gastrofeats, which are really good against buildings. I don't even need Siege on this. I just upgrade these fully and done. They rape. Now, the only major flaw is that he has two town centers forward. Fortified, that means 20 population on each, which equals to 40 bonus population for him so I'm 40 population under him uh, which actually could make a huge difference now another thing is that I'm attacking only with 230 population I could have waited till I maxed out first but I want to kind of stop him from building the forward base kind of a bit early but look at all these units very early he seems to have a massive uh, army yeah we are pretty neck to neck in scores though so it seems as if it's not that much of a difference, but he's starting to produce Jarls, which is a horrible move for me since nothing counteracts Jarls. Uh, all these are pure infantry counter and of course building counteracts. So I am having a good battle here, he's trying to send these and to destroy his military buildings and hopefully his town center, but he just caught me, so I was running back and got stuck. What? Okay, never mind. So he seems to be defending really well, and look at my population drop down to 170. Really bad for me, so I decided to upgrade faster unit production from my uh, 
military stuff. See? Faster enough production. And therefore, I can reproduce my population. That's what she said. Very fast, so it is not a problem if my army is lost. Now, as we can see, I'm still upgrading in the army just the last few things. And I seem to be fully upgraded soon enough. Um, pretty much fully upgraded. And he is trying to take a hill fort here to produce ballistas. However, I have anti-building units. And I'm trying to destroy this, but just with 300 hit points, I run back because he comes in. Using my Perseus, I can freeze, I mean, I can stone his myth. So they get stoned, you know what I'm saying? No? Okay. So he's making a ballista, but he didn't take care of it, so he kind of wasted that. The second one is also wasted because Megastrophes fired it down. So he's coming in with more ballista. It seems like he's looping ballistas from many military buildings and taking a massive forward base, non stopping. I mean, he's uh, making military buildings non stop. However, I'm taking a massive score, like 2,000, which is very interesting considering that his economy is better in everything. His economy rapes me all around, and, but my score is still a lot higher than his. It seems as if, even though his economy is better, he's sending in lots of units that are getting killed, and his economy is actually lower because of that. Well, his total economy is higher, but his current economy sucks because he's wasting his units. That's what it seems like. And using my Perseus to freeze his fire giants, of course. So he just lost his town center, but he is still keeping control of the forward base. Coming in with four fire giants, um, I can only kill one of them as we speak. However, my Gastrophetes have bonus myth damage right here. Um, so it's not that difficult to kill him if I can mass these up. However, he seems to be outpopulating me as we speak. So I'm trying to add on more military military buildings here sooner or later. As we can see right now, just set at the perfect time. Um, like I said, my Gacha feeds counteract his fire giants pretty well, as well as the Perseus. So the fire giants are actually not a problem at all, even though they're really strong units. Um, here's one more. I gotta kill that down, shoot it down. I mean. Um, even though I destroyed his southwest forward base, he just recovered it. Well, I mean, he recovered it really fast. Like I said, he is making military buildings non-stop, and he can quickly recover from anything. However, I'm bringing bo gold colossi. Sorry, I'm just talking too fast. I'm bringing col gold colossi and gastrophes to counteract buildings, two counteracts at the same time, and these are really hard to kill, even with hersers. So I'm really taking this base right here. He cannot recover it too easily. So he might, he may be ahead of me by one town center, but it's n at least not two. So I can easily just uh, stall time here and kind of push him back. Now, as we can see, he is trying to attack my main base, but it is highly defended. Uh, with these walls, towers, and of course, the military production. So what I'm doing is trying to attack him from the back, but he used flaming weapons. Now it seems to be a waste since he is losing his military units really fast, but just after 30 seconds, it really kicks into action because he is destroying my entire army back here. Um, well, it's very slow. Actually, at 20 seconds, see, he's going to destroy my entire army here, basically. So I'm not sure if it was a waste or not. I'm still going to say it was. However, if he would not have used it, he would still be stuck here, and I could have easily taken this base right here. So if he didn't use flaming weapons, I would have this forward base right here, uh, middle base, I should say. And just because he has flaming weapons, he can defend this off pretty easily. Nah, not easily, but he can defend this off just barely. Now he's bringing more fire giants. I don't have my Perseus. I think it died. Uh, yes, it did. I'm making a new one right there in the castle. Um, so he does have a good attack advantage with that. However, look at the scores. I'm 6,000 ahead. Now, let me just quickly flash his economy. See, his economy is... Um, sorry, his economy is really, really low, but his total economy is actually a lot better than mine. So, like I said earlier in game, his total economy is a lot better, but he's wasting his resources so quickly, just so, so quickly. He needs more resource gatherers. Now, I'm not going to flash. Actually, I am going to show his base just because I can. Um, another mistake he did is... Well, after I, I destroyed his markets, I purposely actually came in here just to destroy his markets, just to kill his economy, which was a good move of me, and then he deleted his caravans. That's a horrible move. He could have easily used those up, just making another market back here. Also, um, another fail move is that he did not constantly loop his villagers. 
He took like a 20 minute break and just now started to make more because he deleted his caravan. But he did not max them out. Actually, he isn't making any villagers now either. So he did not max them out. That's a huge mistake because he has Ragnarok and he could easily, he could have easily used that and pushed me back, especially um, combined with flaming weapons. That would have been the best attack. Constant villager loopment and then using flaming weapons plus Ragnarok to kill. Uh, in a combination. Now he's coming with fire giants, getting wasted pretty quickly, just getting stoned. And I, t I'm taking the middle base right here. It seems as if he cannot stop me, even with fire giants, even with ballistas, he cannot stop me. And even though I took the middle base, I am still defending my home base very well. I think it's GG. He knows it. Um, it's it like it does. It might not seem like a GG, but considering he took the entire forward base, I was scrambling to this tiny space. Um, and still came out. It's definitely GG. He cannot pull back from this. And I'm coming in with an army again. This is the exact same situation that we were in just a few minutes ago when he was flaming weapons. But now he does not have flaming weapons. So he is gonna go down. I said that pretty weird. He is gonna go down. Uh, plus, even this fire giant Percy has good game. So that is GG. He wanted a rematch. I did not, especially since I had to go. But it was, yeah, just definitely good game. I can't really say much more than that. Um, Lots of interesting moves right there. Uh, mainly, well, <laughs> it really annoyed me in game, but it's actually a smart move to constantly spam military buildings. He had, look at all these tiles. All of these were buildings before I destroyed them. All of these were his military buildings. So he, he spammed quite a lot, especially in his own base, but this actually led to his downfall because his economy, his economy cannot sustain such mass uh, production. So. As you can see, he even deleted some fishing ships. That was the most horrible move anyone could have made. He had about 40 fishing ships at some point, but he deleted the fishing ships. Let's just look at his economy and the timeline. Civil units, look at this. Right after we reached 28 minutes, he had 137 in civil units, then 117, deleted 20, and then 97. He deleted almost 40 in total. Actually, he deleted 46 in total. So that's a huge loss for him, very poor choice, and I think that's exactly what led to his downfall to be precise. Besides that, of course, he did not make villagers, he could have used Ragnarok, and he could have killed me there. So it was a really good game, I highly enjoyed it, and those are the tips for him. Of course he doesn't watch my videos though, but <laughs> yeah, good game.